Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, give all praise to Yahweh Shemir, Shabbat Shemir, Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles and the men of the truth going down regarding this truth and knowledge. The water of Yahweh Shemir, Shabbat, putting the spear of the elders and apostles and the men of the truth going down so we can learn this truth and knowledge, be able to learn this truth and knowledge. Call Holy Yahweh Shemir, Shabbat Shemir, Kakadash. Give all praise to Yahweh Shemir, Shabbat Shemir, Kakadash. I'm going to do some more scriptures relating to fear. Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am, I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So pretty much not fear not. And that goes to trusting, having faith, and believing. Be of good courage, be of, ch of cheer, man. Let me see if I find that one. Here we go. Deuteronomy 30 and 6. I thought it was one in Psalms too. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not. Be not afraid of them. For the Lord thy God. He, he it is that doeth he it is that doth go with thee and he will not fail thee nor forsake thee man. so you know be of good courage be of strength so having faith in the Lord trusting him that was Deuteronomy 31 and 6 chapter talks about let's go review it real quick it's Joshua the new leader the law is read for every seven years and the prediction of Israel's rebellion man. Um, let's go to uh Go back to fear. Some more scriptures on fear. Second Timothy's one and seven. For God have not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Sound goes to stable. Sound mind. So the Lord gives us the, gave us the spirit not to have fear, man. Not the fear of, you know, the adversary, what they can do. Fear not the one who can kill the body, but fear the one who can both uh, kill the body and soul in hell, man. That's what Matthew's, um, that's Matthew's 10 and 28. Let me get that one real quick. Make sure. <laughs> This is just a few scriptures relating to fear. Yeah. Fear not them which can kill the body. That's the carnal body, man. But are not able to kill the soul. So they can't kill your soul or the spirit, man. But rather fear them which are able to destroy both the soul and body in hell. And that's the Lord, man. It's 10 and 28 of Matthews. Go back to um, the fear scriptures. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts an out fear, because fear have torment, and he that fear is not made perfect in love. 
man. That fear is that doubt. That doubt, lack of faith and everything, man. Let's look up the definition of fear. Regular definition. The Bible definition. These are things a healthy fear, and that means like fearing of the Lord, a profound reverence and awe, especially towards the Lord. And that's a healthy fear. That's uh, Miriam Webster's dictionary. All right, fear definition. Um, to feel pain, <clears throat> painful uh, apprehensiveness or apprehension. To feel a painful apprehension of some impending evil. To be afraid of, to consider or expect with emotions of alarm and solicitude. So, to feel painful painful apprehensive of uh, some impending evil man continue on um here we go here we go. A painful emotion or, or passion excited by uh, expectation of evil. Apprehensive of the pending danger. So the things that's to come. That's, that's the pending danger. Impending danger, man. The things we have to deal with that's to come that never was seen, man. The fear is expresses less apprehensive than dread. The dread... Less than terror and, and, and fright. The force of this passion beginning with the most modern may be thus express fear, dread, terror, fright. Fear is accompanied with a desire to avoid or ward off the expected evil. Fear is an uh, uneasiness of mind upon the thought of the future evil likely to befall us, man. So the anxiety, apprehensiveness, the apprehensiveness, the anxiety, um, the um, these things that's um, that contributes with the buildup of fear, man. Sometimes the anticipation of it can um, is worse th is worse than fear itself. Man. The anxiety, solicitude, the cause of fear, and different things. These are um, just definitions of it. So, fearing of the Lord, man. Both fearing a healthy fear, but also fearing what the judgment of him, man. That's, that's that fear, man, as well, man. All right, let's go back to um, Psalms 23 and 1 and 6. The Psalms of David, the Lord is my shepherd, I should not want. It's pretty much, um, I'll read the whole thing. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He leading me beside the still water. He restores my soul, leading me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. So that path. Ye though I walk through the valley of shadow of death. The shadow of death will be here. This place, man, we in the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. For thy rod and staff shall comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And we will, man. But we had to go through many obstacles, that straight gate. Psalms, um, Shalak, Matthew, Psalm um, 7, 14, 7, um, 14 and 15, Second Ezra 7 chapter. Which is perils or left fire and water, perils ahead, dangers, man. So, need all these 
you know, because the flesh on oh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. So the flesh is weak. The part of that weakness in the flesh is the um, the emotions, the fears, and different anxieties and different things that build up within that flesh, man. Which is pretty much a normal thing, for the most part. Apart from a carnal aspect, but you know, like I said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. So you know, there's two entities in opposition of one another. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. He's, he's talking about David. He sought him, man. The fear of man bringeth a snare, which is a trap. For whosoever put his trust in the Lord shall be saved. And that's having that faith and trust. Four and six. Be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests, which is your prayers, be made known unto you. How about you, Rosh Psalms 56 and 3. What time I, what time I am afraid I will trust in thee. In God I will give praise his word. In God I will put my trust and I will not fear what flesh can do to me. And that's the adversary, because he can kill the what? Like I said, um, Matthew's 10 and 28. Fear not the one who can kill the body, uh, kill the uh, kill the body, but fear the one who can both kill the body, soul, and hell. Matthew's 20, 10 and 28, man. So fear not the one of the what flesh can do unto me, man. Well, who can kill me in that flesh, man? <clears throat> Romans 8 and 15 because this flesh you know I mean will go back to where it goes and the spirit will go to the one who created it man back to who created it that's Ecclesiastes 12 and 7 man this flesh this flesh wants it um once it burns, cremated, or whatever, it turns to powder, man. It's nothing, you know? But the spirit is the essence of, you know, the true, the true within, man. For he have not received the spirit of bondage again. And that bondage is, um, um, you know, being in slavery captivity. For he have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. But ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. And that adoption is pretty much uh, being part of in the first place. That relates to the, um, the nation of Israel, man. They're part of that adoption. They're part of their election, man. Romans... Um, 8 and 38 and 39 for I persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principality nor powers nor things present nor the things to come nor height nor depth nor other creatures shall able to separate us from the love of God which is in Hamashiach our Lord so none of these things that are listed can separate or, or come in between between the love of Yahweh and Israel man <clears throat> Isaiah 41 But now thus saith the Lord that create that created thee O Jacob and he that formed thee O Israel fear not for, for I have redeemed thee I have called thee by thy name and thou art mine and that's the Lord's portion, man. Deuteronomy 14 and 2, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, that special peculiar people. That's the Lord's portion, man. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. So that's pretty much that safety, that hedge, and security, man. 
Um, scriptures talks about Psalms, uh, the angels are encamped around them, man. That's the hedge and protection, man. That's uh, Psalms 34. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of, of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for a ransom, Ethiopian Seba for thee, man. Go to um, one more. Okay, this is a short one. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied, and he shall not be visited with evil, man. So fear in the Lord, man. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and understanding, man. Scripture talks about uh, here in the conclusion of the whole matter, fear the Lord, keep his commandments. I believe that's all. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. That's the whole duty of man. So that's the whole duty of man. Fear in the Lord. That, that's the healthy fear, man. Beginning of it. Do it to the best of your abilities. For, for obvious um, collective reasons, we haven't done that. That's why we're in the state of condition related to the curses and different things, man. But there will be a remnant where they begin to mem remember themselves. And come back through the pro help help of the prophets, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yashah, putting the prophets to remind them uh, of, of relating to the scriptures. Coming back, rehearsing the righteous act, Judges 5 and 11. Um, during that captivity, they begin to remember. Remember the things that they, uh, the fathers of the past have done, man. But their uh, uh, forefathers, which they are, coming back fast forward, that's reincarnation. So the things that their forefathers have done, remember the things of the old, man. And, um, and start rehearsing and practicing that, man. During that captivity, they begin to remember themselves. That's in Baruch, second chapter, latter part of verses 2, 27 or down. Um, so... That's all. Be, that's all to uh, begin in the fear of Yahweh Hashem man. You know. Read it again. The fear of the Lord tendeth to light. So tendeth to light is to the benefit, man. And he that hath it shall abide satisfied, and he shall not be visited with evil. Because consequence of not doing these things, you're going to be visited with evils, man, and curses, even, man. That's the whole point. That's um, um Proverbs 19 and 23. This was just uh, a few scriptures real quick. Let me get that Ecclesiastes. Let me finish it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. That's the one I quoted. Fear God, keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. That's the obligation. Romans 12 and 1, you know, uh, making that body a living sacrifice, that's your reasonable service. Part of that, that's part of that reasonable service is what? The obligation. And that's that's the pretty much the duty of man, man. Let me go to Proverbs 1. Forgot one. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's the wicked. So they despise the wisdom and instruction as opposed to the scriptures. But the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and, and wisdom and understanding. That's the scriptures, man. That being said, I hope this helps. That was on Proverbs 1 and 7. I hope this helps in some way. Whoever this is um whoever listens, in some way. This is Ayab Wolf. Um give all praise to Yahweh Shim Yosha Bashim Rakadash. Shalom.